Hey Spencer, it's Jake. Just wanted to let you know I'm really sorry I couldn't return your feelings for me. Hey Spencer, uh, Jake and I are starting to get really worried about you. Um, can't hide in your apartment forever. Hey again, Jennifer's here too. Hi Spencer. We're having a party at our house tonight and you'll never guess who's coming. Paul Watson. Paul Watson? Now that we have your attention, the party starts at 9 p.m. We really hope you'll come. Don't disappoint us, Spencer. See you tonight. Spen, sir, get in here now. What is it? Did you spill salsa on your pants again? No. Are you about to throw up from too much junk food? I'll get you a bucket so you don't ruin your clothes. Oh, no, that was one time. <sighs> Jake and Jennifer invited me to a party tonight and Paul Watson's gonna be there and... Oh. My God. This is it. This is your opportunity to get over Jake. The music will play. The alcohol will ease the mood. The lights will be dimmed. How romantic. It's perfect. What is this, dinner in first class on the Titanic? It's just a college party with a bunch of drunk students. I don't want to screw this up. Maybe I shouldn't go. Are you kidding me? Uh, don't sweat it, bro. We'll be there to make sure you don't hurl on him. Ah, <sighs> memories. All right, I'll go, but no one invited you guys. Besides, you know you're not real, right? Of, of course, course we, we are. are. We, we are, are you, you and, and you are, are us. Whatever. Spencer! You made it! Now, it's a party. Hey. Come play beer pong, bro. Go play, it'll be fun. More like totally awkward. Stick to the mission. I've got to go. I saw you back there with Jake. Still tough being around him. Have you talked to Paul yet? No. Oh, he's totally over there. He is? You're talking about Paul Watson. Yeah, he transferred here last year. I heard he got kicked out of his last school for being too distractingly handsome. I hear he's all kinds of sassy. He's the best barista the green bean has ever had. His caramel lattes, they're to die for. He can totally kick your ass. Everywhere he goes, he leaves a pop of broken hearts in his wake. I know you drool a bit every time you look at him. Uh-huh. Anything else? You'll do okay, kid. Good luck. Cool party, huh? Uh, no. Uh, Not really. Yeah, it's totally the worst. I mean, I don't ever go to these things. Is this actually happening? Um, I'll just leave you alone forever now. Oh wait, um, no, you, you don't have to go. There's nothing more interesting going on, so. Uh, I'm Paul. You're Spencer, right? Yeah, how did you know my name? You know, you write your name on your coffee cup with the green bean like three days a week. You always get the same thing. Shy with extra milk. milk. Yeah, I, I like milk because I don't ever get enough of it at breakfast because I don't ever eat breakfast. Oh, he said that? He sounds like an idiot. I knew we should have rehearsed this. Are you kidding me? You don't rehearse conversations. You just let them happen organically, like organic fruit. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to listen. Do you want to get out of here? You don't like this party. I don't like this party. That's something we have in common. You want me to leave with you? Yeah, I mean, if you're cool with that. Sure. Hey! <laughs> wow, this is crazy.
crazy. I mean, you and I here together. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I mean, who would have thought? Amazing. Hey, um, where's your bathroom? Thanks. I like where this is heading. Ooh, Paul got a text. You should look at it. I don't know. Isn't that kind of rude? It would be rude not to take advantage of such an opportune moment. And besides, if I'm saying it, you're thinking it. All right, just a peek. Plan? Jake and Paul are in cahoots? Plot twist! That lying, hunky son of a bitch. God, he's so hunky. What's this? I, I can explain. You it's... knew I was going to talk to you at that party because you planned it with Jake. No, and, and Jennifer. So this whole night was a setup. I mean, you make it sound so crude. I can't believe this. You all lied to me. Were you just gonna sleep with me and then toss me aside for your next gig? That party was for you. Your friends really miss you, Spencer. And by the way, I do like you. I don't need your charity. You should have minded your own goddamn business. Please try to understand. It's... Get out. I really thought we had something good going here. Get out! I guess I was wrong. Paul, I'm sorry. He's gone, bro. You blew it. What do I do now? The only thing you can do, you're gonna take a stand. You're gonna go tell Jake and Jennifer to screw themselves. That's not the right approach. Just forget about your friends. They don't care about you. Just stay here. That's what got us into this mess. You're such a hypocrite! You're the one who told him to go to the party in the first place. But that's before I realized he was invited under false pretenses. Oh, well, it wouldn't be the first time you've been wrong. <laughs> like you've never screwed up. Remember Jake? Hey, we do not say the J word in this apartment. You pushed Spencer onto him. Oh, well, I'm sorry that I actually let him experience his emotions. You know, I'm sensing a trend with you. You bring him up and then you let him down and you tell him to roll over and wait for his problems to go away. I know what's best for him. Oh, He's dear. staying with me. I'm tired of your shit. And what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> did you just punch me in the dick? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Okay, I've heard enough. Let's fight. I'm gonna make you eat those short shorts, you frat house reject! They won't fit in my mouth. I tried once. <sighs> I've seen you put bigger things in there. <sighs> <sighs> both screwed up. I screwed up. My friends and Paul were just looking out for me. We are you and you are us.
Hey guys. Hey. I'm surprised you're up this early. Yeah. It's a miracle. But seriously though, I'm glad you made it last night. Me too. We want to apologize. It's okay. Paul told us what happened. We shouldn't have schemed behind your back like that. I mean, I, it's just really... Wait. Did you just say it's okay? Yeah, I mean, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've been a real jerk recently, and, and I made things awkward between us when they didn't need to be. You don't need to apologize. I'm glad you trust me enough to share your feelings. We both know you needed some space. So how'd you know we'd be here? I mean, come on, it's our spot, you know? <laughs> You're right. It is our spot. Where we go. <laughs> I just love happy endings. Eh, this one's kind of cheesy, even for me. Wait, what about Paul? We didn't resolve that. Spencer doesn't need us anymore. I'm sure he'll figure it out. <laughs>